Karen! Tell me where you are, huh? Ugh, what do you want, Mikey? I'm at home working, obviously. Where else would I be? I did make it clear you weren't to message me while I'm at work, didn't I? Would you stop this? You told me remote work wasn't possible in your line of work. Huh? You said it wasn't possible to work from home due to the nature of the work you do. I remember it clearly. <laughs> Where is all this coming from all of a sudden? You still don't get it, do you? I know everything, Karen. I'm fully aware you're in our bedroom getting it on with a guy called Chad right now, huh? Huh? I wanted to catch you red-handed, so I hatched a little plan. I called both of our parents. Now, all five of us are outside and we're about to charge in. Uh, what? No, don't do it. You'll interrupt my work. Gah! Two weeks later. I just handed in the divorce papers. It won't be long now. Once the divorce is finalized, I'll be taking full custody of Elena. This chat will remain in place as a place for us to discuss things relating to our daughter. I'll be renaming it Elena's parents, and we'll be using it instead of blocking each other. Given that I'm her guardian now, you need to respect her will, so do not under any circumstance attempt to meet her unless she gives you permission. I'm pleased we're finally divorcing. This has been a long time coming. But I am still Elena's mother, you know. Why do I have to accept you stealing her away from me? I gave birth to her. This isn't fair. She's still traumatized over what you did. She hates you. If you genuinely love her and genuinely care about her feelings, you need to keep your distance until she says otherwise. Oh my god. My parents disowned me. Chad broke up with me. I have nothing now. Nothing and nobody in the world who cares about me. What am I supposed to do? That's not my problem. Maybe you can use this alone time as an opportunity to reflect on how things ended up like this. Goodbye. March, five years later. Hey, Dad. Are you already on the train home now? Thanks so much for helping me move today. I couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it, Elena. I mean, I will be moving again at the end of May, but I suppose I may as well make the most of my time here. Right. We regret to inform you we are unable to provide you with a room that meets your wishes during your desired time frame. That's what the real estate guy said, right? I can't believe they mistyped your search criteria. I thought they had systems in place to prevent that kind of thing. Did they say they'd have something available for you at the end of May? I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. Yeah, they did. It meets all my criteria, but the move-in date was way off, so now I've got to wait three months. They really dropped the ball on this one. I feel so lucky Carla's letting me temporarily use her apartment. I know I've already thanked her about 700 times, but can you tell her how grateful I am again? She's a real darling, huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll let her know. Thanks. She's great. How did you manage to bag yourself such an amazing woman, Pops? <laughs> when are you guys going to tie the knot? You deserve to be happy, you know. Thanks, honey. That's sweet of you to say. I'm not sure. Maybe a little longer? I don't want to rush things. Besides, we only just set up our company and we're busier than we thought humanly possible. The long-term vision is to have a company branch in every state on the East Coast. Wow, you're reaching for the sky, huh? That's my pops. I have this surreal feeling of time passing faster than usual lately. I can't believe how much our lives have changed over the last few years. I can't believe you're living on your own as a student in New York now. It seems like only five minutes ago you were that mischievous little girl pulling those devilish pranks on me. Not only are you a whole plane journey's distance from our hometown, but this is your first time living totally on your own. I want you to know that you can talk to me whenever you want, about anything. I know, Dad. That means a lot. Thanks. One month later. Dad! Huh? Elena, what's wrong? How come you're messaging me at this hour? Were you sleeping? I'm really sorry if I woke you. You're not struggling with living on your own, are you? It's okay, sweetie. You're never really on your own. Because I'll always be here. You can talk to me about anything, whenever you want. And you can come home whenever you want, too. Dad, help! What's wrong? Mom's coming. What? Please, this is bad. Listen! I was supposed to be staying at my new friend from college's house tonight. We get on like a house on fire, and she invited me over yesterday. 
but she got a sudden phone call saying her grandma in New Jersey died today, so she had to go back to be with her family immediately. Obviously, the sleepover is canceled, but she was kind enough to drive me back to my apartment before she headed for the airport. Just as we were pulling up and I was getting ready to get out of the car, I spotted some middle-aged woman standing outside the front entrance, ringing my doorbell over and over again. That woman was mom. Wow, what happened next? Did you speak to her? No, I'm still not ready to do that. Even just the thought of her makes me feel ill. I asked my friends to take me to the nearby internet cafe by the station instead, and that's where I am now. Call the police! I'm holding off for now. Don't get me wrong, I will if I have to, but that's more a worst case scenario type thing. Why? I hope you're not holding back just because she's your mother. It's not that, it's the guy she was with. What, she was with a guy? How to put this, he looked like the kind of guy who might be involved in some shady activities, like a gang member or something. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but the fact he was with someone like Mom, the way he was dressed, and the big scar he had on his face, I just had to get out of there. You know what else terrifies me? I never even told her my new address, and yet there she is with some creepy guy on my doorstep in the middle of the night, before I've even lived there a month. I did think about calling the police, but I was worried about what might happen to me afterwards if they got told off and found out I called the cops on them. I thought they might hurt me. All right, I understand. Everything's gonna be okay. I want you to know that. Can you wait a little longer at the internet cafe for me, Elena? You're not to go back to your apartment until I say so, okay? Sit tight, sweetie. I'll handle this. Got it. I'll sit tight. Thanks, Dad. A few moments later. Hey, Karen! What the heck do you think you're doing? Are you still outside my friend's apartment? Huh? Oh, Mikey. Your friend's apartment? I don't have the slightest clue what you're talking about. Elena's staying in room 202, isn't she? This is my daughter's room. My daughter, who came to live in New York on her own. Wrong! That's my fiancé's room! What? Your fiancé? We've been dating for the last three years. She spends six months of every year on business in New York. She's pretty high up at her company and is expected to attend a lot of important meetings. She figured it would be more economical to get an apartment than pay for a hotel every time. So she rents it as a kind of second home for whenever she's over there on business. Huh? I got a panicked message from Elena in the middle of the night, saying she couldn't go home because there was a strange woman outside her apartment calling her name and ringing the doorbell nonstop. Huh? Wait, that doesn't make sense. I saw Elena coming in here before. You can't fool me. That's because Elena and my fiancé know each other. They're so close, they're basically family. Do you not think it's more likely that she just has a spare key to the place? Wait, what? Are you being serious right now? When I heard you'd shown up out of the blue, I told her to get away and stay away until we could be sure you'd left. What? Why? I need to see my daughter. Do you have any idea how difficult this makes things for me? Why does it? Because Alina is supposed to be looking after me from now on. Excuse me? The reason she came to work and live on her own in New York was because she knew I was here, right? She's always so sweet and thoughtful. I thought it was only natural we'd live together in that case. I mean, it doesn't make sense to rent two apartments when we're so close by, does it? What kind of mental gymnastics did you have to pull to reach that conclusion? It'd be impressive if it wasn't so disturbing. Besides, Elena isn't even working yet. Huh? She isn't? But seriously, even if she did go to New York to find work, do you actually think she'd want anything to do with you after what you did to us? You betrayed your family, Karen! Oh my god! I take it you've snapped out of your delusions now. Hurry up and get as far away from that apartment as possible and never go back! I'm gonna have no choice but to call the cops if you refuse. Come on, Mikey, that's a bit overly dramatic, don't you think? Besides, I'm already inside. What? Did you break into my fiancé's freaking apartment? What was I supposed to do? It was cold outside. I didn't think there'd be a problem with me moving in, what with my daughter living here and all. Moving in? Are you insane? Wait, wasn't the door locked? Well... No way. Let me guess, you had that slime bow Chad teach you how to pick locks, didn't you? Um... I know all about his criminal record and his ties to the Mafia. He has previous for breaking and entering, doesn't he? Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? Um, well... 
The landlord told us there are several surveillance cameras set up around the apartment block, and the front door is visible on more than a few of them. You can lie as much as you like, but you'll never get away with this! If you did break in, you're on camera! Seriously? I have no choice but to call the police. No, 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 wait. Please, just wait. Let's not do anything drastic here. Let's become reasonable adults. Ugh. I only did it because I thought it was Elena's room. Anyway, all I did was come to visit my daughter. What's wrong with that? Visiting your daughter isn't a crime. I have a sneaking suspicion it is a crime, if it involves picking a lock and breaking into someone's apartment. And you don't get a get-out-of-jail-free card just because you didn't think something was against the law. But, Mikey… Blatant criminal activity aside, the real problem here is that Elena still hasn't given you permission to meet her, has she? Huh? I've taken a neutral stance and always been willing to respect her will since the beginning. I thought maybe she might be ready to meet you one day, but far from it. She says she hates you and never wants to see you again. That means you need to go away and stay away forever! Stop upsetting her, you poisonous woman! You've already done enough damage. But I'm her mother! She's my daughter! You lost any right to call yourself a mother when you betrayed us. When you chose to follow your base desires over your family. You'll never meet her as long as she doesn't want to meet you, got it? Oh my god. But what are we supposed to do now? We? My boyfriend! We just sold his apartment because we thought we'd be living with Elena from now on. We have nowhere else to go. You did what? My boyfriend Tyrone. He may have struggled to hold down a job in the past, but he stopped selling crack recently and he's trying to turn his life around. He was so excited about our new home. Your boyfriend sells crack? Sold, Mikey, sold. Past tense. He's a good man with a good heart, I swear. This apartment was a lifeline for him. What are we supposed to do now? Wait, what's that? I can hear police sirens outside. What the hell? Are they here for the neighbors? Ah, oh, the landlord must have checked the surveillance footage. He probably called the cops on you. What? Yep, I sent him a message. I'm sorry to bug you in the middle of the night like this, but I think my ex-wife might have just broken into one of your properties. Please don't hesitate to call the cops. What gives you the right to do that? What gives you the right to break into my fiancé's apartment? Breaking and entering is a crime, and crime is illegal! You're a criminal, and so is your boyfriend! Are you seriously going to claim picking a lock and breaking into someone else's property isn't a crime? You don't have a leg to stand on! Of course the cops were going to come! How else could this have possibly ended? It was supposed to end happily ever after! This can't be happening! The next morning... Good morning, Elena. How you doing, sweetie? I know Carla already messaged you, but just to confirm, your mom got taken away by the police last night, so it's safe to go back to the apartment. There's nothing to worry about, at least for now. Got it. Thanks, Dad. Even still, you must be pretty anxious about going back there all on your own. Well, to tell the truth, yes. Carla's been super kind by letting me stay here, and I'm grateful for that. Really, I am. But the real estate people say they'll have my room ready in about two weeks. I was wondering if there's anywhere I might be able to stay until then, just in case. About that. Carla has a three-week business trip in New York scheduled to start tomorrow. But she decided to advance her plans and is on the plane as we speak. She'll be landing at JFK soon, and will be with you by this evening. Really? Even still, it's probably best you stay away from the apartment for now. She suggested you both stay at a business hotel until you can move into your new place. What do you think? I think I like the sound of it. Wow, Carla's the best. I love her. Great. I'll message her with the news. Thank you. I'm starting to think she's actually a goddess. I want her to be my mom. She'll be overjoyed to hear that, sweetie. Really? Anyway... Carla will be landing at JFK within the next 10 minutes. So how about you two discuss the plan for New York over text while she makes her way to the apartment on the train? Okay, I'll message her now. Thanks a bunch, Dad. Later on. Just as expected, my ex-wife's new boyfriend was the kind of person it's best not to associate with. I can't help but wonder what the hell must be wrong with her to keep picking guys like that, but... It'll probably remain a mystery forever. 
Anyway, as you saw, the pair of them were arrested after being caught red-handed, breaking and entering in the middle of the night. It turns out her and Tyrone, the reformed crack dealer, were both serving a suspended sentence for a previous crime, and they'll be spending a lot of time behind bars real soon. I feel like I dodged a lethal bullet in divorcing her, and I count my lucky stars every day. Not long after the events of today's saga, me and Carla permanently moved our company HQ to New York, where we also now live. Elena still lives on her own, and we want to respect her independence, but we're within walking distance now, and she can come home and hang out with us whenever she feels like it. Oh yeah, guess what? Me and Carla are tying the knot soon. Ever since that day, Elena's been calling her mom, which put the biggest smile on her face. I'm looking forward to the rest of my life with my new family, and I've never been more optimistic about the future. Here's to us! Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.